Now, South Australia is well known for having the nation's highest number of car thefts, and it's mainly because we own the oldest cars. Commodores are often the main target, closely followed by Ford Falcons and Lasers. So if you want to protect your vehicle and its contents, then this next crime-fighting security device might just be for you. As Paul Macon explains, the Adelaide invention is catching car crooks red-handed. <laughs> Oh, Car thieves are you know, a lower form of life in, in my mind. It's a real evolutionary step on from the current systems that are around. Car thieves, you're in big trouble. This is obviously making the police's job a lot easier. You're about to get a spray from some very innovative inventors. We hope that it will be the ultimate deterrent for thieves. Andrew Taft and Tanya Jolly from Adelaide have come up with DNA Car Guard. And it's sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone trying to pinch your car or its contents. He breaks into the car and he's sprayed with the uh, UV and the DNA. Um, he then got it on his skin. Each car has its own unique DNA um, and it's all over his face and all over his hands. And if police later accuse me of breaking into the vehicle, I'll come up clean under a black light. The car thief, however, will be left with a plant-derived DNA solution all over his guilty face and body. Gotcha. That analysis will bring up a code that we match to our database. If he breaks into your car and breaks into another car and he's got two DNAs on him, then he can get done for both cars. Or if he breaks into 50 cars, all of these systems in, he gets done for 50. Andrew has used his extensive knowledge of electronics in the UK and Australia to come up with this clever crook-catching device. As we know from the police, they normally know often who these thieves are, but can never prove it. Andrew and Tanya reckon DNA Car Guard is the way of the future in fighting any kind of crime involving motor vehicles. Absolutely. Oh, ab absolutely. I mean, what it's, what it's doing is forensically placing them at the scene of the crime, at the time that a crime occurred. What sort of crime? That's to be left up, obviously, to the police and the information that they're given, uh, but it does place somebody there. The cost of the system will be around $800. And according to Ray Carroll, the motoring public will prefer cheaper alternatives. What we really look for is things like immobilisers. That mean the car just can't be stolen in the first instance. That's, that's the best deterrent. Deterrent, maybe. But there's little out there to nab the baddies. And the driven couple see this synthetic DNA technology as having broader applications, perfect for petrol stations and other soft hold-up targets. And with break-ins and that sort of stuff getting worse and worse, as we know, um, you know it should make a huge difference. The DNA car guard may also be of help fighting the increasing crime of carjacking. If you're driving a car and it, uh, somebody pulls you out of the car, you hit the panic button, you'll get the DNA on you, but obviously it's your car, so it doesn't matter. But obviously the carjacker will as well. And that, again, will tend to repel them because they're getting wet and they're thinking, you know, what, what the hell's this? I mean, what right do they have to, to enter and violate our lives, um, you know, and think that what's ours is, is theirs and they can come and get it at any, at any time they like? Well, South Australian police and their interstate counterparts are taking a serious look at the DNA car guard, but so far haven't made any decision on adopting the new technology. But if you're after more information, just head to our website, todaytonightadelaide.com.au. And coming up after the break, the country's leading mathematicians give us a lesson in lotto.